Today we look at uh, what is a scheduling agreement in SAP. Uh, also we look at how to create, edit and display a scheduling agreement using a T code in SAP. And finally uh, we will look at um, uh, where, which table in SAP the scheduling agreement data is stored. So uh, to start with, let us understand what is a scheduling agreement. A uh, scheduling agreement is a form of outline purchase agreement under which materials are procured on predetermined dates within a certain time period. So the delivery of the total quantity of material specified in a scheduling agreement item is spread over a certain period in delivery schedule consisting of lines indicating the individual quantity with the corresponding planned delivery dates. Details of the delivery dates and quantity are communicated to the vendor in the form of a, a delivery schedule. So uh, there are two main types of uh, scheduling agreement. One is uh, with release and without release. So with release is called type LPA and uh, without release is called as LP. So the type uh, LPA that is with release uh, means it is a scheduling uh, agreement with release document. Basically, LPA means scheduling agreement with release document. Whenever you create and save this agreement, they are officially transmitted to the vendor. Release document will be available to check the details. On the other hand, a scheduling agreement without release. So here the release document will not be available. With release means the release document will be available to check the details. Without release means the release document won't be available. So that is a quick introduction uh, to scheduling agreement in SAP. Now let us look at how you can create uh, and display scheduling agreement in SAP using a T-code. Then finally we look at uh, which tables in SAP has the scheduling agreement data. So to start with, uh, like you know, to create a scheduling agreement in SAP, you have to use the T-code ME31L. To edit the scheduling agreement, it is ME32L. To display the scheduling agreement, it is ME33L. And finally, the data uh, of the scheduling agreement are stored in EKKO and EKPO tables. So let's look a quick uh, example uh, of how this creation happens. So like we did before, we can go to the SAP. You can uh, either put in the T code in this box here, T code box and directly go into the scheduling agreement creation screen, or you can navigate using the SAP access menu by going into uh, logistics, uh, then material management, purchasing, outline agreement, scheduling agreement, and create, and you can double click this ME31L. Once you do that, the next screen that pops is this. So here again, you can see uh, like, you know, this is uh, the creation of the scheduling agreement. So you can create it manually or using a reference to contract or a reference to request for quote or reference to purchase requisition. So if you're doing it reference to contract, so when you click on that, okay, you would get another box like this. Once you enter the contract number, that is the outline agreement number. When you press this tick, uh, okay, this tick box, when you press start, okay, the data is pre-populated automatically. Otherwise, if you're going to do it manually, manually you have to enter the vendor number and the agreement type, so which we discussed before. So, um, like, you know, the agreement types are LP, LPA, uh, so that one, okay. So, LP, as you remember, which means uh, a scheduling agreement without release. So you can use this or like, you know, you can use LPA. Right now we're using LP and uh, uh, put in the purchase organization, purchasing group, and the plant and storage location. Then once you click enter, you'll move on to the next screen uh, to fill in the header level data. So here everything is populated except the validity end. So you have to put the validity end for the scheduling agreement. Once you put that and click enter, you will go into the line item details to where you can enter the material numbers, target quantity, net price, etc. Once you uh, click save, that is this button, a scheduling agreement is automatically created. You can see below here, a scheduling agreement created under the number, this one. 
So this is how you create a scheduling agreement in SAP. So now to display it, uh, basically what you use another T code which is ME33L. So once you uh, put the T code and press enter, you will navigate to the screen where you will uh, enter the agreement, scheduling agreement number. And again enter, you will see the details. Uh, it will display the scheduling agreement uh, data. So I hope this would have given a good understanding of how do you create and display the scheduling agreement uh, within SAP. So now we look at uh, which tables uh, the data are stored within SAP. So now if you go, the main tables are EKK and EKPO, which is the purchasing document header and the line item. Like, you know, when we saw the contract, uh, the purchasing document category was K. So here the uh, you know, category is L. So that is the scheduling agreement. I'll show that in the data and we can look at the field BSAT for what kind of scheduling agreement it is, whether it is release or non-release, a service or stock transfer. So these are the codes for like, you know, uh, the type of scheduling agreement. LSR means services, LP means with release, LPA means without release, LU means stock transfer. So let me show you that in the data. So moving to the SQL, if I, like I already wrote this. So let me just write a quick top 10 star. Okay. So here I'm giving uh, the, where the BST type, okay, is equal to L, which is the uh, uh, document category, so which is based on Linux here. So if you see a uh, purchasing document category, L means scheduling agreement. So that's why I'm giving this filter. So once you run this, you would get the data. Since I'm running it for a smaller uh, number, okay, so only like, you know, 10, I'm saying a 10, 10 star, top 10 star, showing the top 10. So even here, you can see the different type of scheduling agreement. You can see LSRM, LP, LU, LPA. So LSRM means uh, services, scheduling agreement related to services. LPA means with release, LPA, sorry, LP means with release, LPA means without release, and LU means stock transfer. So this is how you would get the scheduling agreement uh, types. But if you want to look at the line item of which material and what are the price and quantity, uh, you have to join the EKKO with the EKPO using EBLN to get those details. So I hope uh, this would have given uh, a good understanding of where the data is stored and which SAP table at the back end. I will try and come up with another video very soon. Until then, uh, have a good day, yeah? a good night, whatever it is, whichever part of the world you are in. Thank you.